Ready to fight. Ready. All right, so here we go. Two former UFC light heavyweight champions, Jan Blachowicz and John Jones, are set to engage here. Blachowicz has asked for this fight. Perhaps he should be careful what he wishes for. Yeah, Blachowicz has asked for the fight, and he gets it. But with Jones, you have got to deal with so many different things coming in your direction. It's his long-range weapons, it's his knees, his elbows, and his ability to compete that Jan Blachowicz is going to have to overcome. Blachowicz says he's up to the challenge. I guess we find out right now. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. All right, some good signs early out of Jan Blachowicz finding the range with both of his hands. That right hand has got some power, there's no doubt. I mean, legendary Polish power. <laughs> you know, it's like his calling card now. He puts people out with the right hand, and it does not matter how he throws it. He can throw it as an uppercut. He can throw it as a, 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 right, a right hook. He can throw it as a straight right hand. I mean, we have seen him knock people out with this punch on so many different occasions. Uppercut on Rockhold, straight right hand on Dominic Reyes. The guy just has amazing power in this right hand. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their double leg shot. Nice. Oh, nice slam as he gets him to the canvas. Exactly what he needed. Great job finding his shots from the top position. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Blahovic gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Oh, nice. Nice kick. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight, though. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's worth it. Take down a template in the round, and he gets it. Final seconds of round one. Jones is going for a chip. Oh, that guillotine choke is tight. Five minutes in the books. What? Nice work. Very impressive. Your strikes. Wow. You're changing up your strikes perfectly. Let's keep that going. Love what you're doing with the leg kicks. All right, so it was all about the liver kicks and the body attack in that previous round. DC, the highlight. The liver kick is a nasty kick because it only takes one to land in the perfect spot and it will shut your body down completely you won't be able to stand you won't be able to fight all you want to do is exit the octagon you better get his elbow down or his opponent's going to continue to take advantage of that weakness all right here we go with round two all right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Beautiful job staying at range and dictating the fight, landing punches like that. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job following the game plan. Nice crack there. Well, not a fighting blow there, but certainly some right-hand power up. 
of Jan Bohovic. Jan Bohovic can do it all. And that right hand is what has allowed for him to knock so many people out. You can't take many. You may be standing up right still right now, but if you keep getting hit with Jan Bohovic's right hand, he is going to put you to sleep. And if he's within earshot, you can't just call it Polish power and gets upset. Legendary Polish power. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we're starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. And now he's got the back. Under two minutes to go. Changing the position. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Well, very efficient and effective with the grounded pound strikes here. High level work by Jones. Oh, right into Mount. Under a minute to go here in our second round. Bohovic is in half guard now. Oh, he's going triangle here. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Throwing that jab, no good. Jones' nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Good round. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, his nose is just mangled. You ready to fight? Ready. Third Good. round underway. Jones gets caught by the inside leg, kick a few more, and that'll leave a mark. Oh, nice body shot. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look good. Oh, big left hook there. Back to the feet now. Oh, big right hand. Oh, that's big. Until you block you better keep throwing those body kicks. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Jones is blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation. Oh, liver shot right on the left. I mean, perfect liver shot. That is the most debilitating shot in all of fighting. It is very difficult to recover from that. Oh, huge left. Checks the leg kick. Mahomes is swelling now around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. Oh, he might get finished here. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Well, he needs some motion in the morning, but at least in terms of the present, he's got to figure out a way to stop these body shots and get back in the fight. This is bad. The only way for him to stay up right is to get a takedown. He takes one or two more of these body shots. He's going to go down. And honestly, he's as tough as they come. But you should not have to rely that much on your toughness. You've got to do something different. Nice block. Oh, you gotta like
like that as a two-time United States Olympian as he goes to the ankle pick to get the takedown. I mean, it speaks to the wrestling acumen. Just the ability to find any takedown available. What a beautiful ankle pick. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Time, and that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Heading back to the corner now. Wachowicz is bleeding from the forehead there a little bit. It doesn't appear to be too bad. The focus for the cut man, though, to make sure that he can stop the bleeding and not allow the blood to get into the eyes. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Good work from the top here by Jones. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. is blocked there. Nice defense by Bojovic. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body. Oh! Nice judo toss for him there. He's got to be careful here. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Strong knee strike there. Oh, nice takedown. Another big takedown. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Takedown defense holds up. Under three minutes to go in round four. Well, you know about the offense, but how about the defense? Overhand blocked by Bojovic. He continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, it's getting tight. He's got the choke in. Submission now. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. Darce choke is in here. That Darce choke is tight. Oh, that's got to be it. I don't know. That's in so deep. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Catch the choke is out of it. Catch the finish. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Called his shot, gets the win by way of submission. That after part is going to be on fire. He got to his position. He found the submission. He squeezed and got it done. It was amazing to watch, and it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. Here's Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 55 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a Darsh choke, John Bones Jones! All right, so John Jones, your winner by submission here tonight. He's had so many memorable submission wins, sort of dropping Lyoto Machida unceremoniously on the canvas, and he adds to his record here tonight. It speaks to Jones' finishing instinct. He knows exactly what to take when it's presented to him. He will not force to try to knock somebody out with his hands. He'll jump on a submission and get the submission victory.